guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about shadowing a dentist. I'm gonna answer you guys' top questions, and at the end of this video, I'll give you five tips of what to do when you shadow a dentist. Let's get right into this video. Thank you guys for subscribing to my channel and for those of you that are new here I would love if you guys would subscribe and like this video as well as comment down below if there's anything that you guys want to see let's continue with the video okay so the number one asked question was what is shadowing basically shadowing is following a dentist during his day of work Regarding if shadowing is important, so my answer for this question is yes, shadowing is very important for multiple reasons. One of them would be if you guys are interested in dentistry, you can shadow a dentist and then you would see if you actually are interested in that field. And as well for dental students who want to see the workflow and see in practice what they're learning at university. So how do you find shadowing opportunities? Some of you might think that this is actually complicated, but it's not that hard to find shadowing opportunities. One of the options could be that you can uh, get in contact with your local dentist. A lot of dentists are very open to teaching students. Uh, a second one would be that you can also get in contact with a professor from your university, and you can also just email a clinic that maybe you see online and you would be interested in going there. When should you start shadowing? Honestly, it is never too early or too late to start shadowing. You can start shadowing even in high school to see if that's a work field that you might be interested in and you can also do shadowing when you're in pre-med or in dental school to help you with what you're learning at university and learn more new things. What should you bring with you and what you should wear when you shadow? That was another question that I got from some of you. So you guys should bring a notepad so you guys can take a few notes. You should also bring lunch or a snack in case you're going to be there for a longer time and also come with an open mind so you're open to new things and learning. Okay so regarding clothes, what should you wear when you shadow? You should always bring your own scrap with you and clean shoes just in case but when you get there better ask the clinic what should you wear there's some that want you to wear their uniform so you can fit in but there's some that want you in business clothes or in your own scrubs so be prepared regarding how long you should stay you should stay there for at least a full shift because when you stay the full shift people see that you're serious and you're open to learning and you're open to helping and they will also perceive you as their own colleague and they will integrate you in the group way easier than if you just pass by for one hour to say hi and then you would leave Regarding when you should ask questions, this is actually a tricky question because depending on the dentist that you're working with, you're gonna see for your own. So there's some dentists that prefer and they even tell you, ask me whenever you have the question while working. Maybe you see that he's working with rubber dam and be like, what is that? You can ask him straight there, but he will tell you. But there's some dentists that you see that they don't like to talk while the patient is there. So then you should maybe write down your questions and after the patient uh, treatment is done, you can go ahead and ask your questions. And always take care and look at the patient. If you see there's an anxious, anxious patient or the patient is not really feeling comfortable, maybe just sit in the back and be quiet. One thing that you guys should avoid it's for sure breaking HIPAA and confidentiality rules. Make sure that when you take notes, you don't take any personal data from the patient. And also if you want to talk about the things that you saw or the cases that you see outside of the clinic, make sure you keep the patient's data unknown. If I'm gonna give you the five tips what to do when you shadow a dentist, I'm gonna answer the last question is how to make the most out of the experience. And the answer for this I think is just be open-minded and be open to learning new things. And make sure that you help as much as you can because you learn the most by working. And and now my five tips on shadowing. First would be ask questions because it's very important to make sure that you understood everything. Second is take notes so that you can review them on your home. Third is be professional. Four, pay attention. And fifth, be helpful and open-minded guys so you can learn as much as you can. And that concludes our video for today. Thank you very much guys for watching me and I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, go ahead and like and comment down below if you ever shadow a dentist or if you want to shadow a dentist. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!